Madam Speaker, the Taliban is emboldened today. They have found a new reason to cry death to America. That reason is Joe Biden. His foreign policy is not America first, it's Taliban first. Mr. President, listen carefully, and I'll say it slowly just for you. No man left behind, that's leadership. Here's my pledge to the Taliban. You may chant death to America today, but mark my words, the levers of power will be in strong hands soon. If you harm an American, we will rain down vengeance upon you with the wrath and fury that will put the fires of hell to shame. Psalm 91 promises us that God will be our refuge and our fortress. But you do not worship my God or heed his promises. So when we come for you, there will be no refuge, no cave, no crevice you can crawl into that will save you from our wrath. So to those who hate America and all that we stand for, read my lips. I am young and I have a long memory. When power in Washington inevitably shifts, we will not forget you because we're in the business of killing terrorists. And pretty soon, business will be booming. With that, I yield back. Members are reminded to refrain from engaging in personalities towards the president. Members are reminded to address their remarks to the chair and not to the perceived viewing advance.